Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, where I share what I've learned in life to help make your life better. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put hyperlinks in your Word document and how to have pop-up tips associated with those hyperlinks. Now this might sound like two different things, but it is actually the same thing as just two different versions of the same thing. And finally, just to keep things fun, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you a joke that I've heard recently. First, let's make sure everybody knows exactly what a hyperlink is. Since you're using your computer or a mobile device to view this video, I'm sure you already know that when you see some text and it's maybe blue and it's got an underline, if you click or tap on it, it'll take you to somewhere else. Well, that's a hyperlink. We can add those kind of hyperlinks to any text or even an image you have in a Word document. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now these hyperlinks, they can take you to another place in this document, in that exact same document, or they can take you to a website. And there are other ways to do hyperlinks, but we're not going to get into those in this video. First, let's get the URL of a website we want people to be able to click on and go to. Here we are www.davidstutorials.com How could that website be anything but great? I press F6 to highlight the URL, then Control C to copy it to my clipboard. If you're on a Mac, of course, whenever I say Control, you think Command. Okay, so Command C to copy. Now, over here in a Word document, I click and drag to highlight whatever word I want to turn into a hyperlink, then I press Control K or Command K on a Mac. In the dialog box that appears, just be certain the existing file or web page is selected over on the left. Click in the address field and press Control V or Command V to paste the URL from your clipboard. And then click OK. Back in the document, you can now see the words you had highlighted have now become a hyperlink. If you have all your default settings set the way they were when you first installed Word, they will be blue text and it will be underlined. To test whether it works, you'll need to hold down your control key, or maybe the command key on a Mac, while clicking the link. This is a default behavior of Word. And there it is, taking us to the linked web page. If you want to turn an image into a hyperlink, simply select it, click, and follow the same procedure. Just be sure that the URL is on your clipboard. We still have it from the previous operation. And paste the URL in the address field, click OK, and your image is now a hyperlink. If you want to have your hyperlink take you to a place in the same document you're in, you can do that, but the process is just a little bit more involved. For a hyperlink to work inside the same document, that means it has to have a place to link to. And two of the places you can link to are either headings, which you can use in your document by designating a paragraph as a heading, or a bookmark. Here's a document that already has some headings in it, and let's add a couple of bookmarks. By the way, the document you see here is the proof of the brand new in May 2021 book, Defat Yourself, How to Correct Your Diet Balance and Achieve the Best Health of Your Life. It's now available on Amazon, and there's a link to it in the description below. And guess who wrote it? Well, who else? To insert a bookmark, first position your cursor where you want the bookmark to go. Let's put it right here at the start of tip number one and press alternate N and then K. This is a word set of shortcuts and it may be different on a Mac. I don't have a Mac so I can't tell you what those are. This will bring up the bookmarks dialog. Alternatively, you can press Control shift F5 to get to the same dialog. This insertion cursor should already be in the name field. So you can begin typing immediately the bookmark name. 
Now, bookmark names are not allowed to have anything but letters and numbers. You can't put in spaces. You can't put in special characters. If you do, the OK box will dim, indicating that, hey, you're not allowed to say OK to that bookmark. You need to change your bookmark so it only has letters and numbers. You can see that if I wanted to add tip number one as a bookmark, as soon as I add the number symbol, the Add button becomes disabled. As soon as I remove the symbol, the Add button is enabled again. This is what indicates that yes, you can add the bookmark, or no, there's something in that bookmark name that you need to get rid of. Now I'll add another bookmark for tip number two. Control Shift F5, type in tip two, click Add, and it's done. Okay. Now let's look at how to make a hyperlink to a place in the same document. Just like when hyperlinking to a website, you start by highlighting the image or the words that you want to be a hyperlink and press Control or Command K. However, now in the Insert Hyperlink dialog, you need to select Place in this document in the left column. When the dialog opens, if you have a lot of headings, it may scroll down out of view and you'll just have to scroll down to see the rest of them. I'm going to close the headings area and the bookmarks categories here so you can see the two major categories of places you can go to in the document. It's pretty straightforward from here. To make a hyperlink point to a bookmark, simply open the bookmarks category, select the bookmark you want to point to, and click OK. To make the hyperlink point to a heading in the document, simply select the heading, you have to, of course, open the category first, and click OK. Pretty simple, right? Now let's see how we can use this technique to show pop-up tips in Word. You'll notice in the previous hyperlink, whenever you hover your mouse cursor over the link, you get a pop-up that says, Control click to follow link. You can add your own text to this link in the hyperlink dialog by clicking on the Screen Tip button and typing in your text there and then clicking OK. Let's do that right now on our hyperlink to our tip number one bookmark. First, I highlight the hyperlink. Next, I press Control K to bring up the dialog. Then I click Screen Tip. I type in this takes us to tip number one. I press OK and OK. Now, when we hover over this hyperlink, we can see our pop-up tip text. Unfortunately, you cannot turn off the default text of Control click to follow link. That's a Windows default behavior. You can first turn your hyperlink into a bookmark and then in the Link To section of the dialog, link to that very bookmark. So if somebody does click on the hyperlink, it will just take them to where they already are. Since a hyperlink will not work without having a place to link to, this bookmark technique is really good when you don't want people going all over your document besides where they already are. So there you have it. How to create hyperlinks, how to create pop-up tips, and how to link your hyperlinks to a place in the document or to an outside website. I hope this video has been helpful to you and that if you did like it and you found it helpful, click that like button, give us a big old thumbs up, and if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're not a subscriber, why not go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon and YouTube will notify you whenever we post another great tutorial right here on David's Tutorials. Take care, everybody. Oh, now wait, I was going to tell you a joke, wasn't I? There were these two men who were talking to each other. And one man said to the other, you know, my wife always wanted to go to Italy. She wanted to see the old country. So on our 25th anniversary last year, I took her to Italy. And the other man, he says, wow, that is really great thing to do. You're just such a wonderful husband. What are you going to do for your 50th anniversary? And the first man says, I'm going to go back and get her. <laughs> Enjoy, everybody. Have a wonderful day, week, and year.
take care.